If you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money. You should too. The link is in the description. Be sure to check it out. You'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out. The link's in the description. Thank you. We've got a lot of nuclear barrages available and a lot of armies speed. But we're also going a bit mental on the military. Getting them out of there because we don't really want to... Well, it could cause a nuclear exchange, which we don't want. Careful, oh, we can't build a thing on it anyway, it's too far away. Oh, the aliens are around this one. Look at that base. With a ship right next to it as well. That is a big one. What does that do? The casualties number in the dozens. Vietnam has nuclear weapons, are you mad? Here we go, yes, one step closer to a bigger super state. Nice. The initiative have a fleet, the first one. That ain't good, we're gonna need more spaceships. Nice, we're gonna get two of them sorted, that is good, it's just gonna take a little while. We'll need about 20 ships to get rid of it, and then some. Ah, yes, here we go. Project complete, Marine Assault Unit. Howdy doody, everybody. Welcome back. This is Terra and Victor, just in case for some reason you didn't know. Get your cup of tea ready, I've got one on hand, and we are going to get down into the thick of this. Now as you can see, we recently grabbed control of Russia, the servants, who are best buddies with the aliens. We kicked them out of here, they managed to grab a lot of it, which wasn't great, which means they had nuclear weapons and technology. Oh cat, what do you want? You want some of this? Excuse the cat, everybody. Right. Back to it. Yeah, so we nicked it from them. So that means we've got a lot of nuclear barrages available and a lot of armies. Speaking of which, though, we do need to disband two of them. Currently they have six, which is too many, and it's hurting the economy stupidly amount. Currently we're going on full welfare because I need that down. That's it's just far too high. In Europe, we're doing the same, going mental on getting that welfare down, but we're also going a bit mental on the military. The unrest gradually keeps increasing, but now it's started to decline again, so that is all good. Getting rid of that inequality is going to be doing us lots of favours. Down in Africa, we're close to getting all these into a, some kind of federation, which is absolutely wonderful. We'll just double check all the relations to make sure that we can actually get them in. Uh, so we've got to wait till August to get Kenya in, July to get Congo in, August again for South Sudan. For the Great Lakes, we need to get these in. We need to wait 46 more days before we can get them into the Federation itself, and then a little bit of time after that, maybe another year to get them into the East African Federation Super State. All these areas are quite volatile though, so we're constantly trying to get the uh, unrest down. Once they're together, it will be easier to manage. That's for sure. So we're just going to have to wing that for the time being. In terms of things in space, we have three fully operating mining operations on Mars, which is wonderful. Oh, the third one's not quite ready yet, but it's getting there. And then we've got on here, two more. We've got one on here, which is good. This was a right absolute steal because we used so little boost to get it up and running, which is marvelous. And we're hoping to find more of these. We've got loads of probes roaming around. And we'll get information soon. I set the probe to every single one. Every single one that I could click on, I grabbed it. So there's going to be quite a few notifications for prospecting stuff. 
We are building our first space vessel somewhere. There it is. We need more water and we need more base metals. I do have the option of using a boost to finish it, but I'm in no rush. It just shows that we need more mines on the go. We'll save the boost to get some more bases operational on various other bits, which will help provide for the extra resources. And it would appear a few people have left the moon. Oh, nice. Well, I'm going to go grab and get a outpost ride on it. Why not, right? If I could gradually get all of the moon, that'd be fabulous. We'll go for a bit of that one. Shackleton Crater. We'll get one there. It doesn't really cost us any boost at all now. Nice. We'll claim all three of these areas. That's two. Then we're going to go for another one. Yes, please. There's not many resources here, but we might as well exploit them all. Seeing as it's so close to Earth. So we're going to need a mining operation. And we can do this now with the stuff we've got in space. So that is fantastic. It means we saves our boost. We've got a mining operation there and a fission reactor, which we can also build in space. It doesn't cost us anything, hardly. We'll do the same with the others. Let's have a quick gander here. Here we go. Oh, no, not that one. There we go. A mining operation, build in space, and another fishing pile. And another one. Let's get this sorted out. Here we go, we can get another outpost mining doodah, yes, and another fishing pile, excellent. wonder if there's anything else on Mars I can grab, actually. No, they're all full. <laughs> At some point it would be good to grab something else, but we're going to wait a little while. If opportunities arise on Mars, that would be fantastic. We do have a lot of stuff already constructing. Got the cat meowing at me now. What do you want, pal? Oh, here we go. What is this one? Oh, we can't do anything with that yet. There is a massive list. They've already grabbed that one, which ain't great, but what about this one? Mason's Radiance. Let's have a quick gander. This little rock here. Oh, nice one. Well, we could get... Oh yeah, this is cheap as chips as well. In terms of boost, we'll get that sorted. And get a mining operation on here as well. Let's get... Oh, insufficient resources. Oh, we need a lot of boost. Yeah, we'll just have to save up boost for a little while. We can get the fishing pile sorted though, so that'll be good. Might as well get that sorted. There we go. We'll just have to save up boost to get that one sorted as well. But that's really going to bump up our income of resources. Especially with the other ones. As you can see, America are on a war band of murdering anybody they don't like in particular. We've been doing that for ages. It's this one here, the Academy. Oh, not the Academy. The Initiative, they're being a right nuisance and warmongering. Their goal is to gain power and use the aliens to help that. While we took over Russia, they were technically at war with the Academy, which is these guys. Oh no, sorry, Project Exodus. They just want to leave Earth. And some troops were already sent down there, but we're pulling them out of there because we don't really want to... Well, it could cause a nuclear exchange, which we don't want. Not only that, but I don't mind these guys. They can do what they want. We are pulling them out slowly. Ideally, I need to end that war as soon as possible. But it is for what it is for the time being. We'll just begin. Oh, there we go. They've got out of there. That is good. We'll keep them there, though, in case North Korea decides to attack. Speaking of probes, there we go. We've got loads of them there. Yeah, there's another one. And another one. I'm going to put defend interests on all of these locations. I don't want anyone fiddling with them. Oh, that is a juicy probe. Look at all that. Let's have a quick gander at that. We'll find an outpost here straight away. That has got loads of resources on it. I don't know if you saw it, but wow, that is a lot. Another probe. Yeah. Cat meowing at me. Oh, what do you want? He's being a nuisance. 
Yeah, hey, chicken alien. I think he wants a piece of it. That's what it is. America in Yemen as well. Not great. And look, there's another one of their conquests. And in Yemen. What they're going to do, though, is overextend their control ability. Which means getting into America will be actually easier. I don't want to control all of it right now. I can't because of my control point management. But if I could just have one or two maximum, it will make life a lot easier later on. So this is them. Resources, look, they're 30 over their slot. So it's going to make things easier. I might have a product that. But first, we've got more pressing matters. And that's getting Africa sorted. Another probe. That's a juicy one. Another probe, so fairly average. Rating. Another one. Oh, a lot of volatile gases there. That's good. Another war that America is going on. They're going for Guyana. Where's that? Another war? Really? It'll leave them to it for now. Another probe has arrived. That's fairly average. And another one. Uh, that's decent. We need more boost. All the probes are arriving now. There's going to be loads. That is it. Really good one. Oh, but we can't do a thing on that. That'll be a future one. In terms of research, what I am focusing on is doing specific ones which will mean other factions can't do it. Which involves claims, so you can make super states and the breakup of certain countries which we could potentially use. For example, maybe on... Japan, there was one on there. They're controlled by some idiots. We can do with breaking that up so it reduces their power there. We're currently doing this one. We've been trying to do this one for a long time, but it's been uh, sabotaged a few times and then we've had to pull off to do other research. This will massively boost our alien research, which is fantastic, and make it a lot harder for the aliens to operate in our territory. Which is definitely something we're interested in because they are interested in Russia. Other things that I might consider is propulsion because it might make boost easier. Well, there is some good tech here which we could use. For example, here, molten core fusion reactor. Three tons per gigawatt. Then you've got the solid core fission reactor, which is 34 tons per gigawatt. But the molten one is actually so much more efficient. I think it's cheaper as well in many respects. We'll get one of them done. Can't hurt, can it? Do you want to start looking into some ship armaments and things? Simply because we're starting to build ships now. We've, we've even got a thing here for patrol vessels which is larger. But this is a good one. Contraband scanners. Enemies suffer a minus one on sabotage facilities and sabotage other things. I mean, they do like to do that to me. But what about this? We can... Cybernetic implants in our councillors. That sounds good. I might do that. Let's see what that does. Make them into... Terminators. Does suit our faction. More probes. So. Another one. Things are cooling off. Ooh, look at that one. And it seems cheap as well. Ah, oh, yeah, let's get one of them on there. There's huge amounts of resources here. Let's get, we might even be able to set that up straight away. Yeah, we can. Nice. Excellent. Uh, we'll build that in space. Ah, oh, what a good do. Feel like checking all of these now. Oh, see, that one's a lot. Our boost is drastically low now. I'm just going to have to wait. Oh, one of our moon things is sorted. Excellent. Might take a little while for the other stuff to get there, though. Oh, that is a juicy one as well. Need to be careful. Oh, we can't build a thing on it anyway. It's too far away. Oh, the aliens are around this one. Look at that base. No way we can take anything like that on. With a ship right next to it as well. That is a big one. What does that do? A destroyer class ship. That ain't good. We've got nothing anywhere near that. The aliens have quite a few bits floating around. 
all the way down here, they're around Jupiter, they're around various asteroids. Not good. What I'm hoping to do with my one little ship is, if you can see... Where have they gone? Here. They have space stations. The servants. And including a space dock, and I want that blown up. I'm wondering if our spaceship can blow this up. America have invaded Somalia again. Oh, this ain't good. Terrorist bombings. A series of bombs have ripped through Dar e Salaam region. The casualties number in the dozens. Tearful families and blah de blah de blah de blah de blah. All to do with the stats on the alien arrival. Okay. We can go on a manhunt. Alright, so it'll, it'll be right. Go get them. Oh, we need Congo to be buddy buddy with the Great Lakes to get them in. They were a rival. That can't be good. We can do that. In September, we can increase that. And also make it so they're not rivals with Russia anymore. That would be beneficial as well. That is going down. That is good. Inequality. Public sentiment is Gradually getting that us. down. I do want that down to nothing if possible. Russia's slowly getting there as well. Vietnam has nuclear weapons. Are you mad? They're under the servants. That ain't good. Who are they going to be rodding now then? China. Ooh. China's basically an untouched beast at this point. So that is going to be interesting. They better not start bombing it. And they've got armies there and everything. That's mad. Oh, nice. Our operations on the moon are looking good. A lot of them are still building. Well, that is really good. I'm going to get some more resources in. At the moment, we have a man that's spare. Now, it would be good to boot them out of part of these parts of the EU. So I'm going to start working on that. Starting with Sweden, I think. Think about trying to get them into the EU's super state. That it is. It's massive. Potentially, we could get Ukraine in the EU if we split them off. Maybe that's a long-term thing. Or I could begin getting our influence higher in America. Might be a good thing. Gradually increase that. She isn't the best at it though, but it'll be a start. Or we can begin maybe China? Because it's untouched currently. And that is a fat economy. It is a lot lower down. In everything else though. But they're not being a problem. America is the problem. I'm going to start tickling America. We'll just have a sat there for days doing it. Gradually getting that up. Oh, yeah, we can get Kenya in. Congo in. South Sudan in. Nice. Right, we're going to form the super state. America can wait. We'll use the lady to set some national policy. Time to so many probes. Another one, and another one. I wasn't joking when I said I sent them to all of them. Order the regime is change in Singapore. I mean, it's they booted out the servants, which is better, but still. Order. Here we go. Unification. Congo. Yes. Please. Thank you. What a good do. Ooh, that might mean, yeah, we can get these guys in the Federation. We'll do that, actually. I'll be waiting less time then to get the Great Lakes in. Here we go. Yes, one step closer to a bigger super state. Nice. That means we can get Great Lakes in April. That's not too bad. We can get the others in now, though. The EU inequality is going down slowly. Excellent. And it is in Russia as well. Let's keep that low once it gets down there. Commander Fiona Ayawade, Private Correspondence. Oh, look at this. Mmm. Here we go. We've got some researches which are going to be opening up 
One of them is End of America. We could split America up. That sounds well good. That'll certainly do them in. Oh, what a good... Yeah, we'll do that. That will mean... We're winning their hearts we are and minds. the strongest Violence is a on the planet. Think. There we go. Get Kenya involved. There we go. There's another one. And then we're going to have Policy another one here. South Sudan. Excellent. Oh, what a good do. And more probs. It's quite a super state, that, really, now. It's also lowered our required control points, which is marvellous. Which equally means we can start grabbing other areas and absorbing them into the EU. We can even start sticking places like this into Russia, Kazakhstan, for example. That would be good. We're going to make managing this area of the world a lot easier as well. Getting that welfare up is going to be key. Unity definitely needs to go up. Military needs to keep going up. So we'll get all that sorted. Just going to wait for April now to get them done. So we'll send someone in there permanently. I'm here. Where do you need me? To reduce, well, stabilize the nation constantly. We'll down the we need service. someone in there doing it for the East African Federation as well. That will drastically start increasing the points that we can get to actually get stuff done there. We need this lady to start burning some alien assets, so we'll get her doing a bit of that. There's plenty in Russia which we can't be having. Oh, hang What's on. The arm? Can't I send the tanks in to do that? Oh, I can? Oh, yeah. Oh, what a good do. Let's get these together. That sounds wonderful. That'll save her a job. We'll get the army in. And in that case, we can potentially start getting it. We'll get Kazakhstan involved in Russia. We'll get them formed together. We can send the tycoon off to do, go do that. Heading that sounds like a good idea. Oh, we need 11 Your more orders. days, I think. Oh, we'll be all right. She can chill out for a while. She can go and keep stabilizing the East we'll African Federation. For my I've actually just managed to, to free her up. That's going to be good, Where actually. Go? We can get a few more of these other countries in. If we get Kazakhstan involved, Belarus, Armenia, we can grab control of these and get them stuck in. Reforming the Soviet bloc, as it would, at least to some degree, because we've got the European Union as a super state as well. But having these two countries in the Russia it'll just make the borders nice, so we'll do that. Let's do it. That's going to be the next mission. America can't touch us now. We've got far more armies than what they do. Yeah, they're not as good. But still, they are fragmented over here, so they'll have access to five. Presuming all of them will be able to cross the oceans and such, which ours won't be able to. An alternative for that will be to grab control of hold of Mexico and then send the boys in, all of them. That might be a better idea. I'm going to see if I can split America up when that technology comes in. If we can split America up, oh, that would be great stuff. It'll weaken Earth in general, but I don't mind that. We can always reform it if we gain control of it. Start it. Let's get the Baltic states. Let's get a good opinion there. We'll get the tycoon lady on it as well. Oh, hang on a minute. No. Reporting we'll get this again. dude on it. He's better at it. This is going to be good. We've got a lot of alien assets here. We can get three armies in on this. Oh, here we go. Cybernetic implants for our people. That sounds interesting. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we've got to set another research first, though. Get more engines. I want more engines. I want to be able to reduce our boost. Now, this one, for example, advanced prospecting surveys. That could be something to do with it. Oh, here we go. Liquid hydrogen containment. Long term storage tanks for stable liquid hydrogen. Granting an effective 10% bonus to the ship's exhaust velocity. Now that seems good and it's cheap as chips, so we'll just get that done. Oh, the initiative have a fleet, the first one. That ain't good, we're going to need more spaceships. 
Yeah, we need more ships are going to be the thing now. Better start getting some tech involved. We're going to need a number of ships. Currently these only have 9 combat rating. They require a good deal of um, base materials. It would appear that they all do. I'm wondering if we can... Well, see, that's better. It doesn't even require that many more. What about a Corvette-sized ship? Yeah, that's a bit more juicy. Requires a lot of water, though. That is extreme. Yeah, we need more tech and resources. The escort ship doesn't require really uh, much more base materials at all. I don't know why we don't just go for escort ships then. They are bigger and better. Just trying to compare the two. I don't see why we don't. Go for the bigger ones. Why not, right? Um, armor, we're going to need a load of that. Sticking ion drive on there. And all that goings. I don't fully understand all of this. I'm going to leave it to do the best ones that it can. And we are going to save that design. Call it beta. I'll try and pump out some of these. They've got more weaponry on them. So we'll do that. Just gone for the automatic cannon. Or oh, what's wrong with a six inch cannon? Oh, primarily used a defensive role. This will knock out projectiles. They've essentially got cruise missiles on that thing. Yeah, we'll uh, make it look like that because it looks nicer. Yeah, let's do that. We'll save that. See if we can get some of them built. Needs be, I will. Why is the gunship bigger, more heavy and everything? Does it just need upgrading? Yeah, it looks like it did. See, that's already a lot better. But resources wise, it still makes sense to have the escort class ship. We can bin off the Alpha class. Call this at Alpha 1.2. And there you go, it's already significantly better. But where does all the extra weight come from then? Not two shop panel tanks, maybe? Oh, it's got to be, hasn't it? Let's just see if we can get a few of them built. I think that is being built now, maybe? I'm not too sure. We'll get rid of that. Add to Q. We'll get a Alpha 1.2 gun. Do I, mm, no, I'm going to go for the Beta Class Escort. I mean... <laughs> They're all about the same anyway, but we can get a few of them on. May even use that to use boost in case we don't have resources, which we are, do seem to be limited on. Let's get two ships in the sky. Our armies have arrived here. Let's assault that. Apparently there's only a 68% chance of winning, but okay. Once that Thanks research is done... Off. Oh, go away. Once that research is done... It should be a lot easier to shrug them off, this one. Oh, here we go. Seek peace with North Korea. Yes, please. Nice, that is good. We don't want to be at war with anybody. While America has declared war on Sri Lanka now. What I am going to do is remove a lot of these rivals that they seem to have. Because that isn't good for us. For example, in here, we get them all moved up one see if we can just be friendly these guys can just go do one the servants can certainly go do one these guys they've maybe booted them out but they've left us alone for a while so we'll be trying to get friendly with them then with these we can be nice to them and the exodus bunch we can do the same with them just to show that we are not awful people we are going to get them allied though with the European Union and the East African Federation. Excellent. That is fantastic. That means we can now all support each other. I could get it so we buddy buddy with the resistance. That'd be good. At least Italy, anyway, ones that are in the EU. 
I don't want them sharing my stuff though, so I'll leave them like that. If they were in the EU, they'd be soaking up my boost and I can't be having that. There's another one down here that we can go and get. Go destroy some aliens. Initiative again, stealing our stuff, go away! I really need sorting out these guys. I need to take America off of them. Gotta be done. I can't go to war with them though. Not yet, anyway. But they are really being an absolute pain. I can't be having that. Maybe Japan though. Ooh, that's interesting, but it will bring in a lot of countries, and that's gonna be a big war. Well, we're gonna deal with this bunch of alien life forms, get the military involved. Let me get that contraband scanners, that should hopefully stop them from doing nasty things to us. In the East African Federation, we need to get the cohesion up. Probably half the reason why, if we let it, unrest would just skyrocket again and we can't be having that. But we are going full pedal, it's just going to take a little bit of time to fix it. We can get the Baltic States Turning up the heat. attacked now though, that is good. We'll start working on all of that, get all these countries under our control. I am wondering though, if I start prodding Italy and the UK for example, if they will then start to press on America, that might be an idea. I don't have the control points for it and I want to focus over here, seeing as well, I might as well, eh? It's, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Japan needs to go as well. Oh, but we are building the ships. Nice. We're going to get two of them sorted. That is good. It's just going to take a little while. Oh, here we go. New project available. Some laser weapons. Ooh, marine assault unit. What is that? Allows ship to launch assaults and habs. Ah, yes. Give me some of that. That is what we want. Start taking out the initiative then. Aliens have been... Eliminated there. Is there any more though? That is a good question. I have no idea. We're going to crack down in... Over here. Baltic States. We were unable and start to booting them out now. Oh god, look, they're at it again. Declares war on Singapore now. Panic. Widespread panic. In the Great, uh, great Lakes States. About aliens. That's not good. Deploy our forces. Yeah, that's good. Another crisis averted. Look at all these alien things. Chile, Brazil, Canada, America. It's not, that's not good. I legit just might have... I mean, they're pumping so much in the military. Building more armies and everything else. It's a powerful country. We're going to have to deal with it at some point. We're going to have to get our lady here to start blowing up some of these assets over there. We also need her, though, to do some purges to grab this. We'll do that. Feels like we're in a race. Finally, we have that. Our counselors and armies do 25 bonus damage to alien stuff, so that is marvellous. Get the contraband scanners back on the go again. That's it. Purge some of the Baltic states. Nice. We'll get the rest of that now. Crack down on them lot. This. While this lady goes and burns some people. Aliens have arrived. Oh, what ship is that? That's a fat ship. So much more powerful than ours. We can't touch that. We'll need about 20 ships to get rid of it. And then some. Sentiment. Ah, yes. Here we go. Project complete. Marine assault unit. Nice, let's have a gander. Here's something that may be worth doing. Investment points in military, build army and build navy. That's probably going to be a real good one, actually. Plus 5%, that is a lot. We're going to get that done. Especially seeing as we're going to be trying to catch up with America. Who are spending stupid amounts on their military. That is ridiculous. The economy is going to be suffering for it, though. War again? Ridiculous. At least we've singed some aliens. That always makes me feel better. 
And on that note, I'm going to leave this here. We're on the brink of getting our own spaceships, big spaceships built. We've got lots more mining done. As you can see, our numbers are rapidly growing now, which is marvellous. Russia is firmly in our hands. Europe is firmly in our hands. The East African Federation is definitely sorting itself out. But... America being a nuisance. It's just been a right pain. We're at war with so many people. It, it, is, it isn't good. Oh, the army's pretty much done in. Where have they been? That would be good to know. I do need to deal with America. That is for sure. Dealing with Japan might be an easier thing, but I will just drag... America in. Don't want a nuclear exchange. That would just be suicide. But my best bet would potentially be... Oh, then again, it's nuclear exchange or wars and things. My best bet might be to get Mexico, grab that, and then go for a invasion. If that doesn't work, I'm going to go and try and do the research, which will allow me to split up America into pieces making it a lot harder for them to control it all. I think we might do that. It's definitely the safer option, but they are going to be doomed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.